Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. It is Gina here and I am going to share with you guys how I set up my little journal for our Harvest of Hope study. So this study hasn't hit the shop yet. It will um, be available on October 17th at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard, but I wanted to show you guys what I am going to do for studying. So first off, how cute is this double bow? Um, this is the same yarn that uh, your kit will come wrapped in. Um, I don't think there's quite enough here to make this double bow, but we will have these available as an add-on item so you can grab a chunky double yarn bow to add to your kit as well. Um, so this isn't going to be a tutorial or anything on how to do any of this stuff. Um, I mostly was putting this together with screaming children in the background uh, when I had, you know, little moments to do it. So um, that would not make for a very good tutorial video. Um, so I'm just going to do a little flip through uh, for you guys and you can see um, how I put it together. So uh, I just took the cards um, for the study, which are five by five, and I used that as my base. I did decide to do um, a disc binding on this. So um, I had these cute little discs from an old planner with the hearts in them, and they are metal, which I love. Um, so I thought that I would repurpose them for this, and I think the gold just goes so well um, with the colors in the kit. So uh, that is how everything is attached. As you can see, it's already pretty chunky um, with just my setup in here. So um, hopefully these discs are big enough to hold everything when all is said and done. Um, okay, so we're just going to do a flip through and I will talk a little bit about what I did. So the cover page, I just um, used the, I guess the welcome card from the kit. So on this side, it has the whole welcome and the intro to the study. Um, and then for each um, word that we're going to be studying, I made a little cover page. So how I did this, um, in the resource library that comes with the kit, you will get a bunch of printables and there are two pattern papers in there. So I printed out these pattern papers and um, used them to make some little um, covers for the word. And then um, it's not actually this faint, but I sewed some vellum on top of the pattern paper to kind of give it you know, a little bit of a different look. Um, so that's that. Um, and then I took these tags here are also um, going to be available in the freebie library as well. So I took the skinny tags and some of the ephemera pieces and um, stamped out each word on there. And that is another thing that you're gonna be able to add on to the kit. Um, we have a new alpha stamp coming that matches um, the fonts used within the kit. It's called the Hope Alpha, and you got the whole alphabet, some numbers, and then you also have some extra things like date and a little a couple little flags and a little texture piece to go along with it. So the stamp will be uh, something that you can add on and get with uh, your kit. So that's what I used to do these letters and I just printed them on some or printed I stamped them on some uh, little grid cardstock and then cut it out. And then um, when I attached them I used um, some of these 3D dots to make them kind of stand out. So then after my like main title page I have um, the verse um, that was chosen for that word and um, it's the reference card. So 
I have um, that at the beginning and then I have my definition card and it actually works out really great where I can see uh, most of my references and the definition at the same time. So that's kind of cool how that worked out. Um, and then this uh, piece is another freebie item that will be available in that resource library. Um, so really make sure that you check that out. And the way that you access that um, is by scanning this QR code um, that comes on this little card in your kit. Um, and then you'll enter the password and uh, be able to get to all sorts of goodies. So this is one of those pieces um, that comes in there. So it has a spot for the word, the verse you're looking at, and then your notes about it. Um, and then I just put like a bunch of fun things in here. This is just like a little uh, pocket so I can stick something in there. Um, and then I made this fun little vellum pocket. I'll probably um, do some like embellishments on this or something. Um, but for right now, it's just plain. And then inside... Um, I have some other little pieces. These, this is <laughs> yet another uh, freebie item uh, in that resource library. So it has a bunch of tiles um, with verses on it. So I just stuck those in there. And then this piece is actually from a printable that is available in our shop now called Word Study. So this one also has a spot for the word, the verse, and the notes. So I just tucked that in there. Then I have my next title page, which also I didn't mention, but I just used um, Avery, what are these called? I just used these Avery tabs um, to do the little tabbies on the side there and then used uh, my mini alpha stamp to stamp the word. So this is again, I did the same kind of thing. Um, this is the other pattern paper it's a florally one that is available. So I did that with the vellum and sewed them together and then um, stamped out the word and used some ephemera bits and that tag uh, to make my fun little page there. And we have the next reference card and definition card. Another one of those um, little lined word study cards. Um, this piece is a part of our word study printable, so you can grab that in the shop now. And then I made this little pocket out of the uh, bag that the kit comes in. I thought it was just a fun little way to reuse that. Um, I put this little speech bubble from our scripture says printable, which you can access now. And then some more of the tiles so I'll probably um you know maybe take some notes on the back of this or put a little verse on this um and maybe I might even embellish this a little bit more um during my study time but I am not sure how that will go so then we have our third word same idea with the cover there we have our scripture side and our reference side and then our little card with the definition another one of those freebie verse card things um, on this one I just put like a little blank square of vellum not sure what I'm gonna do with that but we'll figure it out along the way um, here I did just a little uh, cardstock pocket with more of those little verse tiles. Then we have our last word, again with the pattern paper, our verse and reference card, another journaling card with the definition, another little blank square of vellum. This one I did um, just a little paper um, pocket. This one had like a little scallop design along the edge that I cut out. So that's super cute. Um, we've got more of those tiles. Um, this is, uh, she color coordinates with the kit and it is actually available in our main freebies library page. 
So if you have not signed up for our um, email list, you can do that and get access to our freebies library. And then another verse tile. And this is one of the tags that comes um, in the tag freebie on there. And then I just used the thank you card as my back cover to keep everything in. Um, and then I still haven't um, put these in yet. I'm not sure how exactly I want to use them. I might make pockets for them. Not sure. But these are the rest of the journaling cards that are blank on the back. Um, they don't have the definitions like the other ones. So I still have these that I can add in there somewhere. But yeah, this is how I am setting up my study um, I'm sure it will change a lot as I go through and add things and put all my study notes and things in there. So I hope that you guys will join us for this study. I'm really excited um, about diving into that. Uh, don't forget that you can grab this bow and the oh, coordinating alpha stamp. Um when you pick up your kit. We were also hoping to have some coordinating washi. We ordered two separate ones, um, but unfortunately they got stopped up with our manufacturer and had to be reprinted. So I'm not sure when those are going to arrive, uh, hopefully before the end of the month. And then you guys can still uh, be able to use those with your kits. But anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. See you soon.